Reggae Review. This is Reggae Review. Review. Reggae Review. Jamaican vocalist and DJ Ewart Beckford, better known professionally as Uroy, Uroy, is a recipient of the Jamaican Order of Distinction for outstanding and important services to the island nation. Born September 21st, 1942 in the parish of St. Andrew in Jonestown, Jamaica, he is a pioneer of toasting that earned him distinction and the title of the originator. He is famous for an extraordinary sense of timing and medallic style. Beckford specializes in reggae, dub, and dancehall. The artist and musician launched his DJ career in 1961 working with the area's major sound systems and producers and ultimately touring the United Kingdom. He released his Dreading a Babylon album on the Virgin Records label, which won critical acclaim and popularity in the United Kingdom. It led to a series of records that were released in France and Nigeria. Beckford found his own Sturgaff company in 1978 that was responsible for launching the careers of great which included Josie Wales, Jack Crew, and Charlie Chaplin. Just a little something from the, the regular review with Chris Ridd. Chris Ridd. Chris Ridd. Hi, I'm Stan Evan Smith. I'm Stan Evan Smith, the senior music editor of Jamaicans.com. Of Jamaicans.com, I'm a cultural music critic and a music writer. With the passing of Daddy Uroy, I'll have to say that the three songs that I like most by Uroy are Virgin Galore, Dread in a Babylon, Chalice in the Palace, and Where You to the Ball. The reason those songs stand out for me that they were his hits that resonated with me at the time that they all came out. And they were sort of version of some of them, well, except for Chalice in the Palace. Most of them were hit rhythms from other songs. The job he did with them, with each of them, made it so personal that you, if, had you not heard the original, you would have thought each and every one of these songs were his original. Uri had this way about him that he was able to take a version and make something. It's not an accident that he's the only artist to ever have three South songs in number one, two, and three on the charts for as much as 10 weeks in Jamaica and one, two, and three on both radio stations at the time, RJ and JBC. So Daddy Roy, Chalice in the Palace. Chalice in the Palace, and in a Babylon, came out of Prince Tony. And the reason why it resonates with me so much is because it's personal. I went to micro practice in school and we just slipped out the little back gate Sort of, sort of bus a lift, walk, walk down Slife Road, and I am right there by Prince Tony by the bakery across from Tropical Theatre. And that's where those albums were recorded. Uh, so I was kind of, as a kid, around some of that while it was taking place with t Prince Tony Robinson upstairs. The great U Roy, the father of it all, father of it all, father of it all, father of it all. As I said, Chalice in the Palace, Dreading a Babylon, Virgin Galore, and of course, I, I forgot, Wake the Town, which was his big hit. Wake the Town and tell the people about the musical days coming your way. But much respect. Me mama said from the day me born, she knows me a rasta. Hey family, this is Nana EQ. And when I think about Daddy Uroy, I can remember songs like Wake the Town and Tell the People, Wear You to the Ball, Natty Dread, and so much more. His legacy that he leaves with us will forever be around. Rest in peace, Daddy Uroy. We miss you. Yo yeah, man, greetings. This is Indian with Go Ahead Promotion. Go Ahead Promotion. And behalf of URI, URI and the whole music fraternity. Indian want to give them three most liked songs by URI. Yes, yeah, so we are you to the ball. I love Wait the Town. Rivers of Babylon. Yeah man, those are my three. So this is Indian again with Go Ahead Promotion. A music, a, a reggae and dancehall promoter in and around South Carolina and Island of Florida. Big respect. Big respect. Big respect. Big respect. Big respect. Tune in to the reggae review with Chris Rich. You hear some tunes review such as the Rastaman. I'm a Rastaman. Rivers of Babylon. 
a runaway girl. You're listening to the regular review with Chris Rich. This is how it this is how it is songs producer. My favorite URI songs are Small Axe, Dread in a Babylon, and of course Wake the Town. Town. Condolences to the family and rest in peace, legend. 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 This is your girl Tali. I am representing for the impressive life of a true legend, Daddy Uroy, who is no longer here in the flesh with us, but is very much in our hearts forever. I as an artist is saddened by his passing, but is also truly honored to be able to experience his legacy that we can all learn from. Two of my favorite songs from the legend are Natty Rebel and Runaway Girl. Rest in peace, King, you are truly missed. Dedicated to you, Roy, your legacy will always live on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rastafara, yes, I'm Ken Bob from Jamaica, same. And I want to send condolences to Daddy Roy family and friends, same. I read about now, same. Three of my favorite Daddy Roy song. one of them is I'm gonna wear you to the ball tonight. Put on your red dress tonight. Wow! Chicka bow, chicka bow, chicka bow, wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah, that I wanna say. Wake the town and tell the people I'll be a musical disc coming your way. And the other one say, Version Galore, you can hear them by the score. And a musical disc called Version Galore. Yes, Rastafari. Big up yourself, Chris Rich. Saying, more love and blessings, Zaya. This is Nana EQ. I'm Ida Bashir, dub poet. Dub poet. Kill so basic, you busy. We are all here. here. Talking about Daddy Uroy, how we miss him. Miss him. Rest, Rest in, in peace, peace, Daddy Uroy. Rest up in our power. Rest up in our power, Aya. Hello, this is Sophie Kingston from Jamaica. Hello, this is Sophie Kingston from Jamaica. Hello, this is Sophie Kingston from Jamaica. On the phone with me, I have the, what I'm calling, the gold finger of music and music selection. They call him Tony Screw and Tony, welcome to Reggae Review. No respect, no respect, Father Chris, no respect, you thanks, man. No respect to all the youth and youth and all the people in the Chinese area, where, where, where you are, you know? no respect, you know. Tune in to the Reggae Review with Chris Rich. We're still against the Sony and Papa Mook and the great Iri was talking and Papa Mook sound. And I'm not talking about you, right? You know? Iri. Different from you, right? Definitely. As I, as I say that, yeah, I might say this too, you know. It used to be a conflicting between you, right, and I, right? Maybe that's why they never get along on a certain way. Due to the name. Due to the name, and but then I think you, right, I think you, right, birth name also have right, it, and I, right, birth name was right. I think to be right, right, too. Rise. So, <laughs> Catch up so, the rise. So, yeah, so I could tell the people the whole other story about when you or I get famous and, and go to England and King Toby's traffic, I arrive and I arrive as like, um, you rise. I mean, King Toby's sound. So when you or I come back now, the people in my, I, I, I bar the I arrive and it just bring a little time to cry. This one, I arrive, King Toby, so you or I go back to it, you know? Because you or I, I never competed to them because to me, it was kind of two different kind of deeds. You know? Definitely. You I, as you know, you know, you or I go on more popular really more than I arrive, you know? Yeah, true. Because you have to tell this to the people in two that you never know. Most of the reading that to show you you or I was such a good DJ, most of the reading them that you or I go on and DJ and they were it. So they hit for the second time. Because uh, all of those really my church I was hit before with the paradigms we to the ball that you ride the chick about chick about. You know, those are like a second a couple of years later. Break a review with host Chris Rich. Chris Rich. Watch, like, subscribe, share and comment. Yes, because all oh, that come up, you know, it's like the great King Tobias is a, uh, Tobias was a man who used to build an amplifier, like King Tobias. Mm -hmm. He used to build an amplifier, and I guess he was doing some electronic work for Joe Creed. And in return, maybe Joe Creed probably mm -hmm. gave him some rhythm. So I think, you know, this is how I hear the story. And one night King Tobias was playing now, and you write DJ and somebody reading there, and this man, you know, you write DJ for the rhythm now, and go tell Joe Creed, say, to record this guy, and Joe Creed just take it and bring him in and record. 
card him and treat him in our relationship with Tony Stowe. And it's another history from there again. Because all of those songs, many people don't know. You and I was not actually in the studio with the, with um, Paragon. So because we're to the ball already make with the Paragon to John Hurt and all of that before. You understand? And some of those melodious songs. But you I just go back on them again and sing them and make them feel better. As they would call it nowadays, remix. Tune in to the Reggae Review with Chris Rich. I, I have to say this too, while I'm talking to you on the ear and stuff. You know, talking mostly about you or I. But if somebody had really tell me that you or I was really fuller than body wheelers, I probably would have given them a hard time believing it, you know? But, but it is true that you or I actually fuller than body wheelers and maybe Bob Marley too. Mm-hmm. You understand the cause? And one of the main reasons why it was kind of a bit funny to me that if you were uh, about five years older than Buddy Wheeler, that being he was there when the scat era was going on. Mm-hmm. That being he was there from the beginning, from the beginning, from the beginning. You're listening to the Reggae Review with Chris Rich. A friend, a master, a musician, a lover of music. You have contributed so much to this world. It will not go untold. Don't beat the ruler here at Reggae Review. Just spoke to the master. Tony Downbeat, Goldfinger, Anthony Rookwood. Goldfinger, Anthony Rookwood. <laughs> Rookwood. <laughs> Great conversation. What a knowledgeable man. Chris Rich here on Reggae Review. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Man, very interesting. I love it. I know I love how them give them views. I don't know. Big up the basket, Rich. Love, love, and love, respect.